Good morning, friends. Pastor Kelly here with you um, for the Monday edition of Sound Bites. We started last Friday with our first edition of Sound Bites, our first actual um, program or sound or broadcast or stream, whatever you want to call it. Um, and now we're going to continue on this uh, series on spiritual warfare. We spoke last week about the exorcist, um, the, the four minutes we had the exorcist and how the early church actually had the role of an exorcist um, as a part of their everyday ministry. Now you can go back and listen to that four minute broadcast and, um, and hear that for yourself. I want to continue with the narrative here. When you look at the New Testament and we think about spiritual warfare, in, in an objective, non-denominational, um, just let the Bible teach us exactly what's going on here, best we can see, best we know in our, in our finite minds. We, it's been said that one-third of all the people healed in the New Testament were actually not healed, like we would think in the term heal of some physical affliction, but they were delivered from a demonic influence or a demonic affliction. Jesus addressed a demon instead of um, an actual physical condition. He did both, but one-third of the cases was actually demonic. Well, that's challenging. How many times do we face something we think is natural, but isn't natural, it's actually supernatural? Now, in the New Testament, when you see things that talk about demonic possession, the, the word possession there is demonazo, and it doesn't really mean like we would think like the exorcist with the head spinning and the green stuff. It doesn't mean that. It could mean that, you know, in rare cases or um, in specific cases. But, um, but it means demonic influence. It means um, demonic oppression is a better definition, a better translation of demonazo is oppression. Now, what is oppression compared to Depre um, um, possession. Well, obviously, demonic oppression, the demon does not directly attack the person but or, or inhabit the person, but he influences the person's behavior and he impacts the, the person's entire life. The person under demonic oppression might exhibit abnormal or changes in personality, attitude, and manners, um, even with the demonic influence. influence. But the person basically retains um, their their control over their physical body and their and their mind and and things such as that. Now this could be active oppression in a believer's life almost every day. There's probably areas of my life where I'm oppressed of the devil every day. Um, we know in John eight forty four that that um, the devil communicates to us every day. I mean I don't know how he does it. I mean. He speaks somehow into the consciousness of man. He's a liar from the beginning. Okay, but how does he, and he speaketh lies. So how does he speak? I don't know, I never heard his voice. But somehow I've certainly heard his voice without hearing his voice. I've heard his voice in here, but I haven't heard the voice in here. His voice in here is usually accusatory. It's slandering me. It's slandering God. It's slandering God's people. It's creating problems that don't exist it's trying to divide the body of Christ. It's trying to divide me from Christ. It's trying to tempt me into things that would divide me from a, a dedicated life to Christ. You see, there's a voice inside there, which is demonic. It's demonic, demonic oppression. Uh, this, let's just, just frame this. I'll go a little bit over today. Here's, G, here's, here's Peter. He says, Thou art the Christ. And then um, Jesus says to him, Flesh and blood has not revealed that to you, Simon. But the, the Spirit has, I'm paraphrasing, and then a few moments later, Christ talks about his death um, at the hands of men, and Peter says, and we're not going to let that happen, God. And what does Satan? What does Jesus say to him? Get thee behind me, Satan. So Peter went from speaking words of the Spirit to words of another kingdom. Jesus, bless our words today. Bless the series to our hearts. We pray that people find it um, helpful. Jesus' name, amen.